I'm Tom Merritt for Tech Republic. Here are five reasons not to use SMS for MFA. Multi-factor authentication, aka MFA, or as we used to call it, two-factor authentication, is essential. It means you don't rely on your password alone for security. That password is something you know, but with MFA, you also rely on other factors, like something you are, your face, or something you have, say a security key. SMS is the most frequently used additional factor because almost everybody has it, and it's a little easier to manage for developers, but it's also the least secure. Now, it's better than nothing. It's much more secure to use an authenticator app or a physical security key, though. Here are five reasons not to use SMS for MFA. Number one, SMS and voice calls are not encrypted. They're transmitted in clear text, making them easier to intercept. Determined attackers have access to a wealth of tools, from software-defined radios to femtocells to SS7 intercept services. Coming in at number two, SMS codes are fishable. A tool called Modlishka uses actual content from the site it's mimicking to get you to enter your info and then dumps you out on that site at the end, so you may not even realize you were ever there. Cred Sniper and Evil Genix are similar phishing tools. A YubiKey or similar is not vulnerable to this attack. Up to number three, phone company employees, well, they can be fooled. Attackers can trick an employee into transferring a phone number to the attacker's SIM card, meaning the security codes get sent to them instead of you. Sliding in at number four, outages. Authentication apps and security keys work offline. SMS needs the phone service to be available to work, and sometimes the phone system can go down when the internet doesn't. At number five, SMS isn't likely to get more secure. As multi-factor authentication becomes more common, more attackers will target it. And attackers usually target the weakest link in security. With MFA, SMS is the weakest link. All that said, if SMS is your only option, use it. Having SMS on as multi-factor authentication is still better than having no other factors and just relying on a password. But if you have the option, you might want to go with an authentication app or even better, a security key like a YubiKey. Hey, there's more where that came from too. Check out our other videos and articles at techrepublic.com. I'll see you there.